Hey guys, well I want to share you share with you my uh, experience trying to pick a rifle to do this three gun competition that we've got coming up next weekend. Hopefully, Hurricane Irma's going to pay us a little visit, although she's shifting to the left, which is good for us. But we will play it by ear. Anyway, uh, and then I want to show you the pistol. I go we'll get y'all's input on that. Actually, it might be kind of fun, and then show you just a little bit about the shotgun, but. I wanted to uh, get a, uh, build a three-gun rifle with an 18-inch upper, uh, so it have some some longer distances kind of accuracy. So I had this lower that I pulled off of another rifle that has this Tacton trigger on it. Uh, this is a gimmick, but in its regular setting, it's actually a decent trigger. Um, and then I pulled this. Um, Actually, I pulled a different Vortex off of another scope put on here, but just pretend this was it. And the mount, and I put it on there, and so all I got was the upper. I ended up getting a uh, buying a, um, a bolt carry group, and then I just borrowed a charging handle off another rifle. So that was going to be the rifle. Well, I had issues with the, the first day with the bolt carry group, the gas pistons on the brand new bolt, and I'll... Uh, the company's working on that now. I'll get back with you all later on that. But they, they're going to replace the bolt and everything. So for now, there's a fail zero bolt in there. Well, <clears throat> when I had those issues, I said, well, damn, you know, I might want to think about a backup. So this is my LaRue. There's nothing, I've, I haven't changed anything on it. It's 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 as it is from, from LaRue, although I did put a um, Lantac Dragon muzzle brake on there. Now, here's what happened. I'll make a long story short. I went out to uh, the, that public range, and I'll put a little bit of shooting video at the end of this, uh, but I didn't want to I didn't want to put y'all through the whole process because I went through hell and back. So I shot a couple groups with this rifle and a couple groups with that rifle, and lo and behold, the 16-inch LaRue is more accurate than the 18-inch Palmetto State Armory Wild uh, 223 barrel, okay? That does not really surprise me. I don't know if y'all can read that, but LaRue uh, makes incredible um, barrels and rifles for that matter. So I was kind of a little bit surprised, but it didn't catch me by too much of a surprise. So anyway, this is going to be now the backup. Uh, this will be, the 18-inch will actually be the backup. So there you go, you're looking at the backup rifle. It does have a nice long key mod rail. It actually is, uh, as far as the way it's put together, it's actually a perfect uh, three gun rifle. But that is not what we're gonna be using as far as speaking primarily. Uh, that will be this little guy right here. Like I mentioned, the little Roo. Um, now with the 16 inch barrel and that muzzle brake, I'll show you guys a video at the end, it blows a hell of a flame out of both sides of that comp. So could have probably used a different compensator, but that's that's what it is. It does shoot incredibly flat. You got to deal with the blast a little bit, but very, very flat. Now on top we've got a Vortex Razor HD. This is the one to six um, uh, second focal plane. This is actually the Gen 1, which uh, in my um, quest to uh, build the perfect three-gun rifle, I actually picked up the um, Razor uh, Gen 2. So I am going to put that on there. They're both MRAD scopes, and that means i got to go to the range one more day before I go. I think I'm going to take next Friday off, uh, go up to the farm, do a hundred... 100, uh, 100 yard zero, and um, that'll be it. I'll do a little bit of training up there, but they're both MRADs. 500 yard shots are basically three um, mils elevation. 40. I did some ballistics checking today, about 49 inch drop at uh, 500 yards, which I think is going to be the longest shot we have to take. So I'm going to uh, study up on. Uh, the um, I don't know if this will the reticle will come through in this. 
I'm just going to study up on different elevation, on different holds that I need for different elevations. And uh, that's it. I don't have anywhere I can practice it, so I'm going to make uh, memorize what uh, you know the holds that I need and go from there. So there's the uh, the three gun rifle basically, Larue 16 inch with a Vortex Razor HD uh, Gen 2. Now, the fun part, since I'm basically going out there to kind of have fun, I thought it'd be kind of neat to run the Shadow 2, which you all know I've never run it in uh, any kind of a competition. All the USPSA stuff I've done um, has all been the Tactical Sports and then the Tactical Sports Orange, which I'm still in love with and ecstatic about, but it might be kind of fun to run this. Um, I did put the extended safety on there. And the uh, safety is is fairly decent. I think I'm going to err on the caution side. I don't want to give up a day's worth of shooting to get DQ'd. So anytime I run uh, the pistol, uh, I'll probably run it dry and um, drop the mag and totally clear the firearm. So, uh, and then you guys know the old. Uh, well, I'll bring the camera over here for the shakiness. But the uh, the Stoger uh, M3K for the shotgun, I did run some, um, as you all saw the other day, I did, I had never run any slugs before, so I did run some slugs through it, and uh, boy, what a blast, <laughs> literally. Um, but um, anyway, so it's, it's all set up to run slugs. I am running a modified choke. Um, instead of a, like a full choke and um, you could run a like a cylinder choke which is the same size as the as the barrel I think is what that means but it's uh, it's probably a little less accurate that way so that's my that's what that's what I'm gonna be running the as far as the belt that I'm gonna be using for the pistol exact same thing for, with USPSA I'm going to start with one pistol mag out of my pocket, so I'll have two spares. I'm going to run 40 round magazines, uh, which I have function tested them in the uh, rifle. They work great. I'll be running uh, Federal Ammunition brass cased 55 grain bullets. Um, and this little offset drop is legal. However, I think I'm going to forego that and put a Blade Tech quick disconnect on there so that. Because it's a long day, I think you can disconnect the whole pistol and holster, take it off, and kind of relax during uh, your time to shoot and what have you. So, way, way different uh, setup than what I'm used to, and uh, you know, for USPSA and whatnot. But uh, I'm definitely going to have fun. I'll uh, do the best that I can, but uh, no DQs and a lot of fun. That's the goal. And hanging out with two awesome guys. I'm going with Rick, is your six covered? His YouTube channel and uh, Codaboy32. Um, Y'all probably all know him, so we'll get to spend the day. We're squatting up together. And the guy that's uh, going to RO our squad is a, is a real nice guy. One of the best three gun guys out there. And um, he will be helping us along, which is going to be really cool. Shooting at the right target with the uh, Palmetto State Armory 18 inch. All right, left target. 
the room. All right, there's the LaRue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> and the PSA 18, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a much better group.